what if I told you there's a 90% probability that price won't drop below this level in this specific DR session? Sounds crazy, right? Let's break it down and make data great again. For today's breakdown, we're focusing on EuroFX futures from Wednesday, February 5th, 2025, during the overnight DR session. A strong DR upside model was forming between the aftermarket and overnight DR session, and here's why it stood out. Even though the aftermarket DR session resulted in a false DR session, confirming into both directions, both the ADR and ODR closed as green DR boxes, signaling underlying market strength. What made it even more interesting was that the long confirmation during the overnight DR session further supported the DR upside model continuation. With that confirmation, the probability of price closing below the defining range before the session ends drops to just 20% while the likelihood of staying within the range or extending higher increases significantly. Since this series is all about merging DR basics with historical data, let's pull up QuantX and see what insights it provides for this session. The first step is selecting the relevant parameters. We input the asset, session type, day, confirmation direction, and assume that the DR session will hold true without turning into a false session. Lastly, we specify the time of confirmation, and QuantX immediately filters out irrelevant occurrences, leaving us with 107 historical datasets matching these exact conditions. Now we refine the data by narrowing it down to the optimal time window for entry. For basic time and price trading, we want to trade during the period where 50% of historical retracements occurred. That's why we filter it down to the median time which reduces the data set to 55 relevant occurrences. With the time window identified, the next step is pinpointing the highest probability retracement areas within the defining range. By analyzing past occurrences, we can now see where retracements historically happened most often between 4 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. The results couldn't be clearer. The retracement probability for this scenario alone sits at 88.4% back into the DR and 79% back into the IDR. This means that price returning into these zones is highly likely. Keep in mind though that this applies specifically to EuroFX futures under these conditions. Looking at the retracement distribution, we now see the ideal entry zones. The first high probability retracement area is between plus 0.09 and minus 0.1, which covers both the median and 70th percentile levels. The second cluster is between minus 0.21 and minus 0.3. Here's something even more interesting. Historically, price has never retraced below minus 0.41 to minus 0.5 in this scenario. 90% of all retracements remained above minus 0.4, making this a key insight for stop loss placement. Now that we've identified the ideal retracement areas, we plot them directly on the chart. The lower retracement box represents the area where retracements have never occurred historically. This gives great insights and possible stop-loss levels. With retracement zones defined, the final step is selecting a high probability target. The maximum extension data window gives us key insights here. The 70th percentile sits at 1.4 standard deviations, while the most frequently reached target historically is between 1.5 and 1.59 standard deviations. The further right we go in the distribution, the lower the probability of reaching that level. That's why we now mark 1.5 to 1.6 standard deviations as the high probability target, aligning perfectly with the highest concentration of past occurrences. Now that we've plotted everything, let's toggle on volume and gap imbalances as well as previous DR session levels to see if they provide additional confluence. Looking at the overnight defining range, there aren't any volume imbalances aligning, but there is one very important intraday gap imbalance which was created in the first hour of the session. Zooming out to check previous DR session levels, we highlight those that align with the current range. These levels are always critical as they frequently act as strong support or resistance zones. Now, when we return to the overnight DR session, two potential retracement areas stand out. One near the upper part of the DR, where the DR high intraday gap imbalance and opening and closing prices stack up, and the other deeper inside the range, setting up a retirement setup trade. At this point, ask yourself, knowing that 90% of retracements stayed above negative 0.4, does the lower part of the defining range really look like a high probability entry zone? The data makes it obvious. 
If this DR session holds true, price should not retrace beyond these levels and should instead push toward higher standard deviation levels. As price moves higher, it reaches the one standard deviation level before retracing back into the first retracement area. The closing price is rejected, but price continues lower, invalidating that first entry zone. If a limit order had been placed, it would have been stopped out. Then comes the deeper retracement. Price reaches the second retracement area between minus 0.21 and minus 0.3 lining up perfectly with an intraday gap imbalance, the opening price and previous DR session levels. Given that 90% of historical retracements didn't exceed the minus 0.4 area, this trade aligns perfectly with statistical probability. Add to that the confluence of a DR upside model formation, a green DR box and a long confirmation and you have a stacked setup. As price rejects the opening price once more, it continues higher reaching the target at the same time as the median time for maximum retracement. At this point, there is little doubt that this low will hold until the session ends. This is how you bridge the gap between DR basics and historical data by integrating proven statistical insights into every trading decision. If this session showed you just how powerful a data-driven trading approach can be, then stay tuned. This series is only scratching the surface. There is so much more that the DR time and price trading strategy has to offer. Like the video, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. We're gonna take on the world.